This video is sponsored by vidIQ. Lighting is one of the easiest ways to instantly change the look of your video. Not only do minor changes make massive improvements, but you can achieve great looks even on a budget. So today we're gonna to be taking a look at my top four favorite lights that are under $100. Let's kick off this video with our first light on the list, the Ulanzi VL49. This tiny little cube light comes in at only $30 and is the cheapest light on the list today. This light is small, it's dimmable, it's color temperature adjustable, it's full RGB, and it has a ton of built-in effects. Plus, it's USB-C rechargeable and can be powered while plugged in. It has a quarter inch thread on the bottom as well as a hot shoe mount. Plus, it gives you three additional hot shoe adapters on the sides and top of the unit, which can allow you to mount other accessories to the light. It's also magnetic, which allows for a lot of unique placement. Personally, I love that this light is so small, it's going to be one of my go-to options to take with me in my backpack. The light itself is actually pretty bright, especially for its size, and this is going to be one of my go-to recommendations for people looking to add some RGB to their setup. Next up on the list, we'll be looking at one of my favorites, the Mount Dog Softbox Kit. This light is soft, it's dimmable, it's color temp adjustable, it's remote control operated, and it comes with the light, the softbox, a light stand, a remote control, and a carrying case, all for $50. It's the key light that I use in pretty much all of my videos. I'm actually using it right now. I love how convenient it is to use. The remote control is a game changer. I love being able to sit here and just dial in my settings without having to go back and forth and back and forth. And the fact that this kit actually has a light stand included is crazy value for the money. People sometimes message me in the comments worrying about if this light's going to be too big for their space, but the reality is it's not that big of a softbox. It actually stays within the size of the light stand itself. It doesn't like extend beyond it, and it's not a very big light stand at that. All in all, it's pretty discreet. And next up, let's take a look at the third light on the list, the G2 Pocket RGB light. This light comes in at $70. It's small, it's dimmable, it's color temperature adjustable, it's full RGB, it has a ton of built-in effects, it's USB-C rechargeable and can be powered while plugged in, and it comes with this awesome tripod and swivel mount. It's very similar to the Ulanzi VL49 in features. The main difference is that this light is significantly brighter. It's actually crazy to me how bright this light gets, and because of that, it makes a really good background option. And the final light on my top four favorites under $100 is the Godox TL30. I'm a huge fan of tube lights, and this one does not disappoint. This light is super versatile, it's magnetic, it's dimmable, color temp adjustable, full RGB, even more built-in effect control than the previous lights, it's smartphone compatible, and it's something that you can grow into. What I mean by this is if you have multiple of these lights, you can actually mount them together and combine them in different ways. Godox even offers accessories to help you take this light underwater. Now you do not get all of this for under $100, but I love that the price is low enough to get you started with the light and you can choose to grow into it as your needs change or as you want to experiment with stuff over time. All right, now let's take a look at these lights in action with a quick word from today's sponsor. As a YouTuber, vidIQ is one of the most powerful tools that I use. I spend a lot of time shooting and editing, so I wanna make sure that each video I make is putting its best foot forward. That's where vidIQ comes in. I don't know a ton about SEO or the algorithm, and thankfully when I use this tool, I don't have to. From recommended tags and keyword research to trend alerts and channel audits, vidIQ has become a massive part of my content strategy. Now I always know the best time to post, and I can see how my channel is performing against the competition. In my first year on YouTube, I was able to gain millions of views and ultimately go from zero subscribers to full time. I've used other tools that are out there, but I've found that vidIQ is the easiest to use, the quickest to set up, and the most effective. Now I spend less time optimizing and more time creating. All right, now that we've seen these lights in action, let's take a look at a few accessories that can really help you get the most out of them. 
I would definitely recommend getting a five in one reflector. These are super helpful for bouncing light as well as diffusing it. If you pair it with any of the smaller lights on this list by shining the light through the diffusion part of the reflector, it will create a larger light source resulting in softer light. I would also recommend getting a ball head adapter. These connect to the tops of light stands and will allow you to swivel your light in a ton of different directions. This works especially well with some of these lights as you can really use it to your advantage to help you shape your scene. And of course, I'd recommend getting some light stands. I typically like to use light stands that are either air cushioned or spring cushioned. This gives you an extra element of safety because when you're loosening the light stand, it won't just fall straight down, there'll be some resistance. Pairing these lights with some of these accessories will really help give you a great result in your videos. Now you can have the best and most expensive lights in the world, but if you don't know how to use them, your shot will still fall short. To learn some important techniques for setting up lights in your shot, continue on to this video here. And as always, stay creative. Peace.